Welcome to Education Lifeline. Today we will be going over the slope formula. Now if you haven't watched our previous video on slope, it will be linked in the description below as well as on the top right hand corner of your screen. Please check that video out before watching this one. So here we are asked to find the slope of the line that passes through the points negative 5, 5 and 5, negative 1. So let's start off by graphing these points on the coordinate plane. So we have negative 5, 5, which is going to be right over here, and we have 5, negative 1, which is right over here, and we are asked to find the slope of the line right here. So in order to find the slope, we need to use the slope formula. So slope is denoted with the letter m. And in the previous video, we talked about how slope is rise over run. What this means is that we're calculating the change in y. This is delta, it means the change in. And run is the change in x. So the slope would essentially be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we can choose one of these points to be x1, y1, and one of the points to be x2, y2. So this one can be x1, y1, and that leaves this one to be x2, y2. We can plug it in. So we get m equals y2 minus y1, or negative 1 minus 5, over x2 minus x1, or 5 minus negative 5. So negative 1 minus 5 is negative 6, and negative, or 5 minus negative 5 or 5 plus 5 is 10. And we can simplify this to get negative 3 over 5. And that will be our final answer. So we can try to check our work using the graph over here. So essentially we're saying we're going down 3 units and right 5 units and we hit a point. We're going down another three units and another five units. And since it lands on the point five, negative one, we know that negative three-fifths is the right slope. And the slope formula is something you're going to have to memorize. It won't be given on assessments and you might need it when you take geometry. If this video was helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to Education Lifeline. Be sure to watch our previous videos and check the description below for other helpful resources. Thanks for watching.